going on Taiwan? Two crews checking in on day three of our Taiwan adventure vlog. Today we're cycling around Hualien City. If you missed yesterday's vlog, we went and rode over to Taroko National Park, Taroko Gorge. Beautiful ride, beautiful weather, and it actually started out pretty cloudy and gloomy like today. As you can see around us, the clouds aren't too aren't looking too beautiful right now. It was actually raining earlier this morning. We woke up early and went outside. It was raining. We couldn't do anything, but we did get some breakfast, some really good Taiwanese breakfast. And we went back to the hotel, started editing some videos because we couldn't really do much in the rain. But we waited it out and now we've got not quite clear skies, but at least no rain. And we're going out for a little ride. We're gonna go check out the beach and see some of the attractions that Hualien has to offer. Tomorrow we'll be riding from Hualien along the east coast down to Taitung and we're really hoping for some good weather and no rain along that ride. We're cycling along this kind of river path right now and it's a bit dirty with <laughs> they must have cut the grass recently it's kind of overflowing on the trails but nice beautiful path no cars to deal with. Anyway let's go check back in at the coast and enjoy the views along the way. So we're doing this ride with no plan. I just said, let's go to the ocean first and just go along the coast for a bit. And we ended up finding this cool river path that led right to the ocean. So really cool stuff. Love how when you don't have any plans and the, the ride just sort of works out. Beautiful sights no matter where you end up here in Taiwan. Here we are approaching the ocean. Gonna walk up this path a bit, see if it goes anywhere. There you go, looks like we found another road. So we can keep riding right along the beach. Pretty cool, it looks like you can just drive up your car here. There's no problem with parking or anything like there is in Japan. There's no parking in Japan anywhere. If there is, it's really pricey. Oh, beautiful. Bit cloudy today, unfortunately, but Adds a little special feeling with all the tall mountains nearby. Love some clouds, some mysterious clouds with some tall mountains. This beach is pretty interesting. Can't say it's much of a beach, it's all, it's all rocks. So rock beach. Lots of people out, enjoying the views. Pretty cool tower over there off in the distance. And then over this way we've got some cool mountains. Endless beach of rocks. Not where I'd want to do a beach party. So the plan now is to try and ride along this coast as much as we can and see what we see. And we're going to do a little loop around Hualien and then hopefully come back around on the north side and go back along the coast back this way We're crossing our fingers. There won't be any rain. Anyway, let's continue on with today's ride Here we go nice little coastal path no cars No bikes, but okay for these kinds of bikes Nice palm trees along the right Nice coast with the waves splashing on the left. Beautiful lady in front. Utsukushi kanojo me no mai. Way different architecture here in Taiwan compared to Japan. Even though there are a lot of similarities between the two countries, we found that there's also a lot of similarities between Vietnam and Taiwan. So they have the concrete buildings. No concrete buildings, rarely any concrete buildings in Japan but really popular in Vietnam, also apparently really popular here. Starting to approach that mountain over there.
This has been a really great path cycling along the ocean coast. Beautiful path, really well maintained, lots of space, and lots of people out, lots of people fishing too, which is cool to see. Tung really likes fishing. She's upset that I've never taken her out fishing, but I don't have any equipment. I'm not very good at fishing, so you gotta learn how to fish. Anyway, we're approaching the big mountain range that we saw earlier, and we're actually gonna check that out right now because there's two main highways that we can take down to Taitung tomorrow. One is Highway 9, and one is Highway 11, so one of those goes along the coast of the ocean, and then one of them is more inside, closer to like the main city area. So we're gonna check and make sure that we know how to get to that road, so tomorrow's route will be nice and smooth. We're gonna make sure that it's nice and wide for us to ride our bikes there. So, let's go check it out. Lots of great cycling paths here. Really great to see. Wish Japan would build more of these. Finally made it to the bridge. The Hualien Big Bridge. I don't know how to say a bridge in Chinese yet. Here we are starting our way on highway number 11. We'll be riding this route tomorrow once we cycle down to Taitung from Hualien. We're gonna scope it out a little bit, just make sure that everything looks okay. And then we're gonna head back into Hualien, get some snacks. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. It looks like we're in for an absolute treat tomorrow. This coastline is beautiful. We're stopping right here along the coast. You can just see this absolute beautiful ridge down to the water below. Beautiful sounds of the waves. Beautiful sounds of the cars as they drive by on the highway. But it's a freshly paven road. At least this section's really nice. Beautiful little restaurant area right here. We might stop and grab a snack. And we're hoping we'll have good weather along the coast tomorrow when we do this ride. Really glad we saw it today, so in case it does rain tomorrow, we do know how beautiful it is. Anyway, let's search for some food. Do kirei. Koko made kitte yokatta. Sono fukuro kakui na. These rental bikes are doing a really great job, by the way. Here's the beautiful coast. Tunchan kawaii. As always, beautiful. It was a bit inevitable with all of the rain clouds that we saw today. We got hit by the rain and we're taking shelter right now at a lovely 7-Eleven convenience store. And we're also stocking up on some food. Chung was pretty upset that we didn't eat lunch yet, so we grabbed some konbini lunch, some bento, Taiwanese bento here, some rice, some chicken, some other goodies. And I got kind of this like, I'm guessing, kind of like curry rice. Oh, actually, this is curry. This is, they do have some, that's cool. They do have some Japanese written here on some of the products. Ba Monto Kare, which means Vermont, like, which is famous for apples in the US and a curry brand in Japan. So it's using their roux to make their curry. So I got the curry and rice. Tsun got the bento. And we're just eating right here. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Do, oishii. <laughs> we also got some dessert here and some Pakari sweat. Sports drink. Looking forward to this dessert. Rain starting to come down a bit harder. It was actually coming down a lot harder just a few minutes ago. Not looking like a good situation for us right now. Gonna try and wait it out a little bit. This dessert ended up being really good. The taro potato, sweet potato cake, the purple sweet potato cake. Really good stuff. Back on the road. A little break from the rain. This is turning out to be a really scenic detour. Saw this route on Strava and I convinced Tuong to come out of our way to go over here. And we're getting a really scenic route through the mountains right now. There's supposedly a really beautiful lake up ahead, so we're making our way towards that. The rain has stopped, eased up on us for right now, so we're enjoying some really scenic, misty mountains right now. Absolutely beautiful views. Bike lane the whole way. 
loving, seriously loving all of the bike lane paths here. Nice wide roads, not too busy. Look at that, we're not even that high up in elevation right now, but you still got some clouds coming down this low. Man, Tung's killing it on this climb. I've been trying to chase her for a while, but she's still pulling a bit ahead right now. It's the power of all the food we just ate. Hayaina! Oh. <laughs> No, kirei. Random white and blue building here. Apparently, we've arrived at Liyu Lake. Beautiful up here. Beautiful, interesting trees. Some beautiful houses. Looks like they got a bike path going around the lake. Here we are at the lake. In typical Asian fashion, lots of people out on like swan paddle boats. And Tun playing on the rocks. So we're actually gonna give up on the cycling path here. It looks like there's lots of people walking and parts of it are wood and it's wet right now. So it seems a little bit dangerous and it's not that big of a lake anyway. And we want to hurry up and get home because we got to start packing and preparing for tomorrow's ride. And we want to make it to the night markets to get some food tonight. So we got to head back home. Let's continue with the ride. Sixteen K back to Hualien. Hopefully downhill. Looks like they got a pretty interesting little town in support of the tourism in this area. Tung was saying this looks like a popular date spot. Lots of food options. Finishing up our ride here in Hualien. Beautiful sights as always. We're entering back into the city right now and as you can see, bordering the city right next to us, we've got these awesome mountains. Can't beat this view, especially right after a rainy day. The clouds and everything in this area with the giant mountains, absolutely beautiful. We're almost back at the hotel. Just finished today's ride and we ended up with about 55 kilometers, which was a bit more than the 20 I was telling Tung that we would only do today. So she wasn't too upset though because the views along the way were really great as you saw in the video. Anyway, thanks again for following along with today's video. We're going to shower and then go hit the night market, we think, to go get some food. But if you're new to the channel and you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to click the subscribe button. We make lots of cycling and travel videos, mostly cycling in Japan, but we also travel to other countries like Taiwan right now. And we'll add the playlist here for our Taiwan trip. And we'll also add a playlist here for our cycling videos as well, if you're interested in either of those. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise.